Ladies and gentlemen, I have my first major CGC unboxing in 2024. So I've been holding on to most of these books, most of them uh, for quite some time. And some time meaning a year or two years with the intention of maybe getting them graded, pressed and graded, I should say. And I finally bit the bullet and I would say probably most of these are personal collection books. I, I don't think any of these... I think some of them might be ones that I eventually uh, will, will sell off to leverage a deeper, a bigger comic book. But for the most part, these are personal collection books, if I remember correctly. So let's dive into this unboxing and see if it was worth grading these. Okay, I'm being very careful not to spoil the grades because I did not see these grades. These were submitted on my behalf, so I had no sense of tracking. They came back really fast. Uh, so the first book I got... Okay, it's a big one. It's a newsstand Secret Wars. So I don't think it was, I'm trying to get a better, without glare. I don't think this is a near mint copy. I, I mean, I, I couldn't, I, gosh, I can't remember. Uh, let's just rip the bandaid off. Nine. Okay, a nine newsstand, fine with that. I bought this super cheap. I bought it for just about $100 or so uh, at a comic book store about a year ago and got a great deal. I think uh, I think a 9.0 is, is a respectable grade for this. Um, it did have a couple spine creases, really nice spine, I should say. You know, there wasn't a lot of issues with the book, uh, but anytime, there is a better picture, anytime you uh, have a newsstand that has a little, little wear, it's probably gonna get dinged. So nice to have a newsstand of this book back in my collection. I just love this book. Every time I see it, I try to pick it up if I can find it at a good price. Okay, the next book I have is a doozy. I've, I've had this one in my collection for quite some time. I bought it off eBay maybe four or five years ago. Newsstand again. Uh, better colors here, yeah. So let's see. I'm covering the grade. I think this is a pretty high grade copy. 9-2. Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe it wasn't as high grade as I thought. Um, that's a little disappointing. I thought this had the potential to go higher, but mm, I'm sure it's the back cover. So the back cover had some staining. There's a little waviness there. I'm surprised. Um, but it is a really nice, solid copy of this iconic cover. Again, another book I paid about $100 for maybe slightly less uh, on eBay a bunch of years ago. Love those purple cover colors. Again, this is probably one I will keep in my collection, although it is a highly coveted book. And as I'm finishing showing these books off, I'm, I'm taking a moment to look at them and, and re-appreciate the colors, the, the vibrancy of those. I mean, this, this Venom book, uh, the one before was for Symbiote. Just, uh, you know, sometimes you just don't take the time to actually adore the covers as they should be. Next is another Secret Wars. All right, all right. I, did, I didn't remember having another Secret Wars in this batch. So what kind of grade did I get? Another nine. What? This one did have a spine tick or two, had a little color rub at the top. Um, gosh. And the way CGC is putting them in the cases, they're getting these waviness. I, I'm, I don't know anything about that. That's new to me. Um, not sure that was there to begin with. Uh, and it did get pressed. So a 9-0 on, on this book. Again, for symbiote costume, classic book. Like I said, I always try to pick it up when I find it. All right, we have... Oh, okay. This I picked up from my first major estate sale haul where um, maybe seven years ago I found that giant size X-Men um, number one for a dollar and it graded at eight five. This was a very high grade, I thought. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 282 and it got a grade of nine four uh, or 252, sorry. Amazing Spider-Man 252. Uh, this is Another early slash first appearance of the black Spidey costume, which turns into Venom. Uh, they all kind of got released around the same time as Secret Wars number eight. So, uh, yeah, really nice colors. I've had this in the closet for a long time, just in, in a top loader. 
hoping to one day grade it. And it graded really nicely. All right, we got this Batman 608 second print. 608, I think it is. I think it's another high grade. Let's see if I'm right. It is a 98. <laughs> yes. 608. So uh, this was one that I kept uh, for my friend's collection. He had me sell his collection and said I could have a pick of, of different books. And this was one of the ones I decided to keep for myself. I have a copy of this. I bought for like eight bucks years ago. It graded at a 7.5. I got it signed by Jim Lee. So this is one that um, I just love the cover. I love the, the rarity of the second print. And at a 9.8, I thought it was really high grade. I, I wanted to get it pressed flattened just in case. All right, now we have the first Gambit. I bought this with that Secret Wars 8 from that LCS X-Men 266. Uh, Gambit's the rage again. Of course he is. He's an amazing character. I love this character. I got this, not this particular issue, but the first issue I got, which was a 9.6. I got it through a JCPenney catalog back in the day with a, a grab bag. So this one... What did I get? 9-4. All right. All right. It's fine. I love this issue. I will pick it up again every time I can. Um, I don't love the artwork inside this issue. Uh, unpopular opinion. Uh, the Joseph Rubenstein, Rubenstein artwork. And then who else is it? Mike Collins. Um, not my favorite. But the cover's killer. Iconic. First appearance of Gambit. X-Men 266. We got some keys in this bin. Let's see what else. Oh, another Gambit. Did I score better or worse? Not better. 9-6. I'll take it. Same grade as the one that I currently have. So now I have three uh, Gambits uh, slabbed, which is exciting. I'd love a 9-8. That would be nice. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this had like two or so spine ticks that don't break color. But hey, I'll take it. All right, this is this is a very spidey, key, black costume heavy um, lot. So Marvel team up Spider-Man. This is 141, I think it is, without spoiling the grade. Let's just see the grade. It is a newsstand. 9-2. All right. All right. All right. So I made a trade with a buddy uh, over Instagram. He came to town and uh, traded my Ant-Man. I think I had a Jenny Frizz in 9-8. That is the... Um, Death of uh, Psylocke, uh, Death of X variant cover with Psylocke. It was a Jenny Frizen book. It came, I think it was a 9.8, maybe it was a 9.6. Uh, and I traded that for this, unslabbed. So I got this slabbed. It was a new stand. I had wanted another copy of this book, a better copy than the one I had. And so I was happy with that trade. I didn't, I'm not looking, I don't have the values up of what a 9.2 is worth compared to that book. Not worried about that. It was a fun trade. I was happy to do that for a buddy in the community. I don't know who made out better, but uh, this is still... A fun one to have graded. All right, we have a new stand. I don't expect this to grade too, too high. New stand of Web of Spider-Man. Uh, the first Scarlet Spider in costume. Ben Riley, iconic, 1990-something, 93 maybe. I'll take a look at that in a second. What was the grade? 7.5. Again, I wasn't expecting it to grade high. It is a newsy. It's from 1994. Uh, first Clone Saga story. I didn't realize it was the first Clone Saga story, but it is a newsstand. I wanted to get it pressed, a little bit more presentable, and it is an iconic issue. So to have it in a newsstand is one that I really wanted. All right. I have got this at Baltimore Comic Con this past year. I paid 10 bucks for this book. First Silver Sable. Uh, I'm not sure... How it will grade, it should be in the nines, because I thought it was a really nice copy. 9-8! Thought it was a 9-8. Oh, God. I didn't want to jinx it. Um, bought this for 10 bucks. First appearance of Silver Sable. Uh, this is from 1985. To get a 9-8 from 1985 is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, that's that's awesome. So... Don't have high hopes for a Silver Sable movie after everything Sony's been putting out there. But this could be an investment book that maybe at some point, if that character takes off this 9-8, this could come in handy. I can't believe I paid $10 for that book. I, I looked at it and I was like, this is high grade. I need to pick this up for 10 bucks. So next is... What book is this? Oh, okay. I bought this for less than a dollar. I, I, it was a short box for 50 bucks. 
uh, at Third Eye Comics during their uh, annual new comic or free comic book day uh, event in May. I finally got it flattened. Hopefully, I had I sent it off to the presser because it did have this part of it was like upturned a little bit because of how it was stored. So I don't know how much that might have dinged it. Let's see what kind of grade I could get. A 9.4. Okay, I'm happy with that. This is the first Mr. Terrific, uh, which if James Gunn does anything with it, uh, that property with that character, you know, this could be another one to leverage eventually one day. But it's a killer. Is it Alex Ross? No, Corbin. Richard Corbin cover. Uh, but I had a really minty copy of this before it blew up uh, and, and people started wanting it. But hey, you know, it's a nice slab. It's probably one of the only DC ones that I have uh, in this haul. More keys. Got a Young Avengers. I don't know why this was in my box. I don't know why I had an ungraded Young Avengers. Uh, the 9.8 has eluded me. I, had, I have a 9.6. So I don't remember the condition of this. Let's just see. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Finally, I get a 9.8 in this book. Finally! This is like a $200 book. Uh, yes, sorry for screaming. If anyone's listening to this in their ears and I blew them out, sorry. Uh, Young Avengers number one, nine, eight. Uh, this, this, like the Gambit, the first appearance of Gambit, nine, eight has eluded me. But then I finally got Young Avengers one in a nine, eight. I almost went and bought one uh, on eBay uh, just to have one in the collection. They've dipped enough. That was like, it would be great to have. I love the property. Uh, it's not necessarily speculation for me. I love the book. I love the property of Young Avengers. This run, issue number one through 12, was really hot. I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I'm happy to have that 9.8. Again, a lot of these are PC books. I'm going to keep them in my collection. So let's see. All right. Uh, I did send in a couple of Miss Marvel Mystique ones. I thought they were decent grades, enough to get... Uh, a decent condition, enough to get decent grades on. So was I right? 9-4. That's pretty good. This is uh, Miss Marvel 16. This is the first cameo of Mystique. Really cool. Uh, nice, what is it? Bronze Age, 1978. Miss Marvel cover. Okay, this is Hulk number one. This should be a 9-8. This should be a 9-8. I bought this on... Instagram from someone a long time ago when I first started doing Instagram. Did it? Really? The... Ay, ay, ay. I almost didn't even send this one in to get pressed because I didn't think it would need it. It's the only thing I can think, and there won't be any graders notes, I guarantee you there's no graders notes. Um, the only thing, oh, the great, they, they sealed something in there, like a little bit of something. But the only thing I can think of is an issue is there's a little color rubbing on the back. This is a very unforgiving back, and there's a little color rub, so I don't remember that. Disappointed. This is a variant cover. This is an Ed McGinnis variant cover, an homage to Hulk 181. This is one that I would eventually sell. It's not uh, sentimental to me in any regard. All right, Stormwatch. First appearance of Apollo and Midnighter. I thought this was a really great condition book. It is black, though. The black side, so who knows? It's That's an unforgiving color. Let's see. It's a 9-8. Yes. Yes. I, got, I doubted myself after that last book. I thought that would be the 9-8. This was the 9-8. I'm happy that this is the 9-8. If I had to choose between the two, this is the one I would want the higher grade on. Look at that. Pick this up at a convention for like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, maybe 40 bucks uh, from my friend Carl. Uh, and I've held on to it for two, three years, a long time. And I felt now's the time to press it, get it graded. And I'm glad I did. I've been a fan of the characters. I've been a fan of Stormwatch. Uh, and um, it's great to have this first appearance. Blame to issue number four. Have about four more books left, so thanks for sticking with this. And this is, oh, another book I picked up at an estate sale uh, two summers ago in my hometown. Uh, it just happened to be when I was going to visit. Moon Knight 57, uh, Stephen Platt. Love this book. Love this cover. Spider-Man. 
awesome cover. Uh, now let's see. I thought it was high grade. I paid two, two bucks for this. Nine six. I was so close, so close. It has one spine tick that's unforgiving, uh, at least. But um, I didn't. I don't remember seeing that. But I still wanted to get it graded. Uh, really cool book. Really cool cover. Uh, Stephen Platt's coming back on the on the convention scene, so it'd be nice to get him to do a Spidey for me one day. All right, we have Inhumans. Uh, I picked this up at Baltimore Comic Con. I thought it was high grade. Was I right? I was right. Yes. So this is Inhumans number five from 1999. It's the first appearance of the new Black Widow, Yelena Belova. Face is not shown. Uh, there is some dis dispute about that, I think. So um, I'll take it as the first on the label. Uh, cool J. Lee cover, right? Yeah, J. Lee. Black Bolt cover. But a 9.8. Picked it up on the fairly cheap. Couldn't leave it behind. Two more books. Oh, another Miss Marvel. This is another Mystique uh, cover. Last one I got, or Mystique um, early first appearance or cameo. This is number 18, so it's a first full appearance. Uh, let's see if I got a 9.4 or somewhere around there. 7.5. <laughs> I couldn't remember the condition. I'll be completely honest. I was seeing if I could have a pair. Um, I mean, I completely understand why I got a 7.5. I just don't remember the condition. Uh, all right, that's fine. It's the first full appearance of Mystique. Yeah, a good one. A good uh, X-Men key to have in the collection. And um, I don't care about the grade. That's fine. Last book. Let's see. Oh, okay. So this is on the Miss Marvel. So I had a 7.5 and I had a 9.4. Will this be in between? Let's see. This was the 9-4. This was the pair. I probably bought these two together, and the other one came from another seller. I So, yes, I'm not completely crazy to think that I had something of comparable grade. All right, this is a nice copy. Uh, Raven Darkhold Mystique is cameo as Nick Fury. So this is her second cameo, Miss Marvel number seven. So this is how I end the haul. Uh, gosh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Almost 20 books, if somewhere around 20 books that I have here. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I got some, some uh, happy 9-8s. Uh, so, uh, just a very few disappointments, I'll be completely honest. Some that I was hoped that, that would grade a little higher. Uh, again, that gambit, that X-Men 266, 9-8 has eluded me. I got close with that 9-6. Uh, 9-8 has eluded me. I got the 9-6 uh, and a 9-4, just not that 9-8. So, but Young Avengers, that's pretty cool. The Inhumans one, that's pretty cool. So I was happy to grade a bunch of these for my personal collection. So let me know what was your favorite. Uh, I need to figure out what more I'll be submitting to CGC, but... Uh, stick with this channel for more uh, unboxings, hauls, and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.